Daily vlog. Hi, I'm Jay. The war is over. <laughs> That's right. I was going to Reuters. The war is Reuters over. Reuters is reporting Dang. the war is over. Oh, finally the troops I, you can come the home. Words out of my the troops can come home. The, uh, wait, the, wait, 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 wait a minute. It was Toshiba that was. Toshiba versus Sony. That's what I'm well, talking about. What are you uh, talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Wa they wave the white flag. Toshiba waved right. the white flag. Right. Exactly. We have a winner. The winner is Sony, and I'm sure nobody's more surprised than Sony. Right. <laughs> They're probably still like, what? We won a format war? That's uh, right. Uh, how did that happen? The fabric of the universe is reversed. Well, anyway. they, did, they did something different this time. Yeah, they did blue with the Blu-ray. Beta, the Betamax, they didn't spend any money. This time they spent lots of money. Yep, and they did distribution. They got the student studios on board. Warner was was the they big. They gave well, the studios the, cash. Well, there was Disney first of all because it was part of the Blu-ray consortium. Yeah. And then Warner caved, and then soon after that Walmart and Netflix. Yep. And then the porn uh, distributors. Tajima <laughs> 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 and and just decided to throw in the towel after that. <laughs> and so. So now you can go out and safely buy a uh, Blu-ray player. And Before it, the prices skyrocket, apparently, I guess that's No, bad. they should go down. I'm hoping they go down. because Why? I, I Why mean, would they I, go that, down now? That, that, that was my uh, no barrier to adoption. The cheapest one, I, I was at a sale when uh, Comic USA was going on sale, uh, business here in Colorado. And they, they had a Blu-ray player there, $220 on sale, down from 320 Bad. I'll probably just get a PS3. Well, yeah, and, and if you do have some HD DVD disc, I guess you're just going to have to use that uh, the the uh, Xbox 360. That and five and bucks will buy a coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so you know, my my the first thing that pops to my mind, which is is uh, a lot of people been poo pooing, but uh, is that so? Does that mean that Xbox 360 now will go to Blu-ray and? Will that no. be the cheapest Blu-ray player that you can get? It is the uh, no. one hundred and fifty dollar add-on to three. It's two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars HD yeah. DVD add-on to the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, which is right. two hundred and fifty to three hundred fifty dollars. So you know it was cheap, but 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 uh, more importantly, for the Mac people, the question is, as I blogged this morning, uh, so does this mean we'll finally get Blu-ray players in Macs? Now, to be fair, the third-party solutions, Fast Mac, has a Blu-ray drive. And the pros and, right. a, and, a, and one for the laptops, and like a da uh, Roxio Toast has long since supported Blu-ray burning. Burning. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of other things. Even even Apple itself on its site when it talks about Final Cut Studio and Final Cut Express talks about formatted for Blu-ray, Blu but yeah. of course they have to say formatted for HD DVD. But that's like saying formatted for your TV. I mean, it's like. It's a format yeah. that can be used to make Blu-ray, but right, it's right. not a, like there's any sort of special and, uh, I, th I think that for a while, third parties are going to be the way to go, because it's typical of Apple to charge, you know, it's it's, it's like Apple RAM costs 25% more than the, the, sure. the third-party RAM, and it's the same RAM. Uh, you know, so if, if Apple goes and puts a Blu-ray drive in there, it's going to yeah. cost... But we got burned now. Now, people like me got burned, the super drives. Uh, you know that that are yeah. standard now. Right. Have lots of cool, nice features and interface with Mac OS very nicely. Whereas those of us that were impatient and bought DVD burners, right, and basically DVD burners that you you know even now rely on drivers and certain things and don't really work particularly well. Um, so, but 50 gig, it should be able to hold with a Blu-ray disc about 50 gigs of data. Right. That's right, a lot right. of backing yeah. up. That's a lot of good. I mean, I you know. I, I typically every time I uh, I back up to a 600 meg CD and then I can't back up to a 600 meg CD anymore. But DVDs come out and now I can't back up to a DVD anymore. But dual layer DVDs I can back up to. Right, but no, I, I, so I need no, a 50 I gig. Yeah, yeah. To well, me, 50 gig, was... you still with video, you still would not have a really good backup solution, only on a project per project basis. Well, no, but it's a good archival solution. Yeah, so you finish yeah, you a know, project, the, the, but, and you could back it up to a nice blue ray Yeah, but even source. now, I can't archive a lot of projects on, on a double-sided DVD. So right. Yeah. So, hopefully it'll come soon. Now that the war is over, 
Hopefully, maybe Apple later this year. I'd love to. Maybe the WWDC or something would be a nice announcement. They had a, a option to have a Blu-ray player and the OS 10 and everything started to really support it very nicely. That's what I'd like to see. Yep. And yeah. The war is over. Peace. Peace again. Yes. Well, what's that Lennon song? <laughs> Thank you.